Okay, so you may have a new furry friend at home that you got for Christmas. Maybe your dog has been a part of your family, maybe for a while, but it is time to get some training. And either way, uh, let me tell you something, a well-behaved pooch is a blessing to the whole family and whatever friends happen to come over. Uh, this is an issue that hits right to the heart with me. Ashley Herman is a dog trainer over at La Chateau, joining us with some helpful training advice. But first off, um, what is a good age? Uh, good age is really any time, of course, after they have uh, all their vaccination records, if right. you're going to be uh, having a trainer do it for you. Okay. Um, but just as soon as you get them, um, even if they're uh, even if they're rescues, so if five. It doesn't matter how old they are. Um, you can <laughs> you can train an old dog with new tricks. You can do this. <laughs> so let's talk about kind of the best training method. What you guys do at La Chateau. So at Le Chateau, we do uh, positive reinforcement training. So it uh, basically uh, helps uh, build a good relationship between you and your dog. Um, and it keeps you from having to use harsher methods. Um, okay. the, the first step to it is basically just gaining trust with your dog. Okay, very good. So one of the things, uh, this is, I told you this is the thing that kind of hit right home with us. Our dog is about a year and a half. Her, her name's Stella, she's delightful. She's a golden retriever, but she loves everybody, right? So mm -hmm. when, when, when our guests come over, she tends to like overly show and she kind of jumps up a little bit. Okay. Uh, give me an idea of how you, would, you guys would kind of work through that. So that's kind of a question that I get a lot. Um, for jumping, what, what a lot of parents do wrong is that whenever- just push them away. Yeah, yeah, they just push them right away. So what we need to do really is ignore them um, until they do something positive, like um, sitting or just not jumping. Okay. Um, uh, so it's just kind of a good rule of thumb whenever you're doing that, yeah. The good, good positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I guess another one, and, and I think a lot of people are like, how do you train them to sit? Yeah, absolutely. So I have uh, Kelby right here right, Kelby, with me. Kelby, come back over here, sweetie. Come here, honey. So what I do for Kelby and for your dog at home is I'm gonna take some treats in my hand. Okay. <laughs> She's already excited. And I'm gonna slowly guide her into a sit. Oh, she's she going, she's trying. It. It's okay, honey. She's like, honey, she's like the, the floor's a little slick for me. And so typically that would back them up and get them in there. Typically uh, what happens, Kelby might be. Oh, there we sweet, go. Sweet one. So I'm just kind of guiding her by putting my hand uh, with some treats in front of her nose until she kind of sits. And Gravity kind of takes hold. Hey, she's a fast learner. <laughs> look at her. She's already like, hey, look, I, whatever you got in that bag, I want more she's of that. She's super sweet. All right, another thing, and I think that a lot of people probably right now who got, who got, they thought, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a dog, whether it was a rescue or whatnot. We got him over Christmas. You're probably going through the throes of potty training. Um, God be with you. Uh, <laughs> it is difficult. It is difficult. So um, what kind of technique do we use there? So potty training takes a lot of patience. Um, of course, you want to stay positive at all times. So whenever you notice uh, that uh, your dog in particular, like Kelby here, uh, goes out to the restroom um, in, a, in, a, in the right way, like right outside way. or on a potty pad, if that's what you prefer, then you want to reward them heavily. Once, uh, if you ever catch... Um, them uh, using it inside, yeah. what you want to do is simply give them a firm no or uh-uh and uh, just guide them to the proper place. Um, the, the rule of thumb whenever you are working with uh, your pet at home is that they can hold it for an hour um, uh, per one month old that they are, so okay. up to eight months. All right, so that's why you're probably going around like, <laughs> listen, this dog weighs two pounds. <laughs> How in the world is this happening? Um, it just is. They've got to go quite a bit. I always feel like um, with with our dog now that she's she's potty trained, I felt like I was a cheerleader every time she would do something outside. I felt like this was like the biggest event, but it works. It yes. Gets it done. So how do we set, schedule uh, some training appointments? Um, so what you can do, you can uh, call us at 806-331-1100 or you can uh, email me on my personal email, um, which is uh, trainer at Le Chateau Pet Resort. All right, looking forward to it. Uh, <laughs> my wife, Michelle, should be calling you soon. <laughs> all right, coming up next, it is more than just a popular clothing brand. Patagonia is also an incredible place to visit. Our travel expert, Susan Teeple, she just got back from there. And she explains why it might be time to plan your next vacation.